But what we feel that we're doing there is that we are targeting muscle groups specifically. So if you want to lose some weight back here, just jogging all day long might not do that. But if you exercise this and you stretch it and you make it stronger, then it's going to start to come and get a little bit tighter, a little bit firmer, and it's got to find something to do with excess fat or whatever. It's going to go away. We're burning calories because every movement that we make, the bands are providing resistance from right above the knees up here into the lower abdominal area, sometimes up here in the upper and middle of the abdominal. So we're getting a good core workout and we're building some strength, toning and firming. I think what she's proven is pretty much old fashioned eat right and exercise does roll up. Let's put our feet about shoulder width apart, point our toes slightly out, because that means we're going to take the stress off the knee and we're going to squat. And whether you do it from right here or you put your arms out or whatever's comfortable, we want to make sure that the shoulders stay right straight up from the backside and then still up from your feet, not leaning forward or not back too far. So what I want to do is come down try to get down to what I call parallel or just a little bit beyond and pause. And then I want you to push up, not jump up, because I want you to go slow and feel that. And let's, let's get an idea. Again, we're burning the calories, but we're working the muscle. So where are we feeling that? We're feeling the top of the thighs. So upper, upper thigh. Definitely here. Back in here and the hamstrings. Down the calves, back in front. So in each one of these, a lot of times we're, we're hitting a little bit different area. So it might be the gluteus maximus, which is the biggest part, or the minimus. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you want to wear your jeans or swimsuit, you want to have that, that little tear yeah. But it's, if, if you sort of pay attention to what your body's doing, then you know that, okay, I'm doing one particular exercise and I really feel it there. And then I'm going to go do something else where I feel a little bit different. Just like with the leg raises, we were, we were actually working the up leg but feeling it in the down leg. So let's try that again. Down here, I think this is a real good glute workout, but at the same time, we're hitting the upper mm -hmm. thigh, maybe even a little bit of the inner. Now, we're going to add to that and we're going to come down to here and then we're going to relax and then we're going to jump straight up. That's a squat jump. We're, we're working a little bit more, a little bit more cardio. People say, oh, come on, put the bands on and do 10 of these and then tell me that's and, not cardio. And tell me you're not out of breath. <laughs> I am right now. So where are we feeling that when we do the squat jump? Uh, same as when we're doing the squat. And then I'm feeling a lot of it up the back of my calves, especially when you're jumping. Okay. Because you're pushing off with your toes. Right. And then for me, I feel some in my hamstring because I'm trying to push. We do this a lot for jumping, training basketball players, volleyball players, a lot of cheerleaders, a lot of gymnastics now, is they need to learn to have that explosion. But for someone who's trying to reach your type goals, it's still we're getting all the way up and down mm -hmm. through here. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm a little winded. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a lunge. Okay. And so we're gonna basically, we can do a walking lunge where we would go maybe 10 steps forward or whatever. And I know that you've done these because you like to do the forward lunge and then right into the back lunge. Yeah, I try to do all, you know, all four directions okay. in one. So let's let's do that and let's have you talk about it. You're going to come out here like this, come down, barely touch that knee, don't put any weight on it, come back up, and then you're going to go right back into the back with the same leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go forward and do the other leg and come back. And I'll tell you what, Going backwards, even standing still, makes you a little wobbly. Yeah, if you, if, if you haven't done them like that, it, it takes a while to get used to it. That's that balance. You go through it, what you're feeling, what we're targeting there. So let's come here 
and then let's so make sure the knee didn't go over the toe. So instead of going out, we're going to come to this point, and then we're going to go down. So tell us what you're feeling that. Feeling it up the outside of my thigh, on my on the, down leg. On the down leg. I'm feeling it on the underside of my upper leg, on the back part of my thigh, in the hamstring. Back in here. Up We've high. hit that butt pretty good today, yeah. haven't you? Okay. And then you push up. And then you come back. And? And now I'm feeling it down the front side of the down leg, 